Question number twelve. It's a very difficult percentage question. We have to be really careful、uh, with the wording, and we have to think about the situation very carefully. So it says seventy five of the graduating class at the high school. Seventy five percent of the students they took at least eight math classes, and of the remaining class members, sixty percent they took either six or seven math classes. And the question is asking. What percent of the graduating class had taken fewer than six math classes? So, yes, it's a very, I would say, it's a very complex, complicated, complicated question, right? But it's okay. Let's see how to break this down. So,、um, let me draw pictures. I will first start with the entire graduating. Class, and usually we can just draw a circle to represent the whole thing, right? The whole like uh, yeah, the whole population of the you know, the graduating high school students. So I'm gonna divide this circle into seventy five percent. So let me see. I want to cut this. Okay, I want to cut this into seventy five percent. And if I cut this whole circle into seven seventy five percent, this right here. Will be one hundred percent minus seventy five percent, which gives us twenty five percent, right? So I want to split this circle into seventy five percent and twenty five percent. And right here it says seventy five percent of the students, seventy five percent of the students, they took at least eight math courses. So let me just kind of draw the picture like this. So let me kind of draw it. So this is my seventy-five percent. Okay, this is my seventy-five percent of the students. Eight, or、well, say, or、well, eight or more math classes. Right, they took at least、um, eight or more classes. And it's actually kind of unusual for you to take like eight math classes、uh, in in high school, right? What、well, depends on how they count it. Anyways, and I have the second part. That's the twenty-five percent. So this is meant to be that piece. That's the twenty-five percent. So of course, if right here the seventy-five percent they had eight or more math classes, this twenty-five they do not have eight or more. So in another word, they have less than eight math classes. Okay, and then let's see. So that's pretty much the first sentence. That's pretty much what the first sentence says. And then it says of the remaining class members. So we know these people they took、uh, eight eight math classes already. So we're not looking at them. We're actually just looking at the twenty five percent of the entire graduating class. Of the in of the remaining class members. Sixty percent, they took six or seven classes, six or seven math classes. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to split these people,、uh, split this shape, into sixty percent. And if this is sixty percent already, this part will be again one hundred percent minus sixty percent, which is the forty percent. Because you just pretend that we are just looking at this shape. If that's sixty percent, if this is sixty percent, this part has to be forty percent in order to make up one hundred percent. So what this is saying is again, I'm just splitting to two parts. So the top, I have a picture looks like this. <laughs> so this is the sixty percent. So this is I will make a note. This is the sixty percent of the people who took less than eight math class, right? And the people who took the percentage of the students who took less than eight math classes was the twenty five percent. Okay, this is the twenty five percent, and this is the seventy five percent. So this is 
the sixty percent of the twenty five percent of the entire um graduating classes. And I'm looking at this another one. Is like this is like the forty percent. This right here is the forty percent of the twenty five percent of the students. I know it's really complicated. If you have any questions, you know, just leave me a comment. Um, yeah, because as I just go over these questions in the video, I'm not sure if I can provide uh, all the details. But I think this is the details I can get uh, at the moment. Anyways, so it says the sixty percent of these people, sixty percent of these people, they take either six or uh, seven math classes. So this right here, it's either six or seven math classes. So right here. The remaining right here will be less than six math classes. Okay? And that's exactly what the question is asking. He says, what percent of the graduating class had taken fewer than six math classes? So what we are doing is, we are trying to figure out what's this percent, what's that percent, what's this portion? compared to the entire big circle. And that's exactly 40% of 25% of the graduating class. Okay, so I'll just make a note right here. Less than six math class. This will equal to 40% of the 20% uh, of the 25%. And you can think about that's like this, this shape compared to the entire circle. Okay. So what we're actually doing is multiplying these two percentages. 40%, uh, let's change that to a decimal. 40%, the 40 was originally a whole number, so we have a 40 point, the decimal point after the zero. Change the percentage to a decimal by moving the decimal point twice to the left. So we have 0 0.40. Of means multiply. Whenever you see of by itself, you multiply. It tells us that we are going to multiply. Likewise, 25%, we can change that to a decimal. 25 is a whole number, so we have a 25 point. And then move the decimal point once, twice to the left new decimal place, we get 0 0.25. And to make our calculation slightly easier, 0 0.40, this is the same as 0 0.4. The 0 after the decimal point, doesn't matter, times 0 0.25. Okay, so now we just need to work out this. Multiply these two decimal numbers. Let me do it on the side. I want to put 0 0.25 on top. The number that has more digits, okay? I want to times that by 0 0.4. Notice that I just line up to the right. I'm going to worry about the decimal place uh, at the end. So, 4 times 5, this is 20. So I put on a 0 and then carry over the 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. So put on the 0, and then carry over the 1. And that's pretty much it, right? That's pretty much it. And for the answer right here, um, notice that we have like 100, which is totally wrong, because it's not possible for this to be the 100% of the entire circle. So we have to make sure that we have the correct decimal places. So we need to count. Uh, 0 0.25, it has one, two. It has two decimal places. Two decimal places. And then the second number, 0 0.4, it has one. It has one decimal place. 
So total, we need for our answer we need a two plus one, which we need a three decimal places for our answer. So it looks like we have one hundred, but start off from the right. Move this decimal points. Let's see once, twice, three times. It's right there. So zero point four times zero point two five. This is equal to point one zero zero. Let's take a look of what how does the answer choice looks like. Uh, take a look right here. It says zero percent, ten percent, fifteen percent, thirty percent, and forty five percent. But right here, I have a, I have a decimal, so I have to work backwards. I have to change the decimal. I have to change this decimal back to a percentage. We can do so by move the decimal point twice to the right, once, twice. So this is actually a ten point zero, which is a ten, and now I can put a percentage right there. Move twice to the right. Move the decimal point twice to the right. We can change the decimal into a percentage. Forty percent. To change a percentage to a decimal, we move the decimal point twice to the left. So forty percent was equal to zero point forty. Point one zero zero is equal to ten percent. Technically, technically, I can say ten point zero percent. But the zero after the decimal point doesn't matter. This zero doesn't matter. So that's why we just have ten percent. And that's choice B. And please let me know if you have any question. I know this is a very hard to understand question, and I hope I um I did my best. <laughs> oh, of course, I know I can do better. But um, if you let me know how I can improve, uh, appreciate. Leave a comment. Thank you so much.